Today we are installing a coolant bypass kit on our 05 Dodge engine. At the time of this filming, this is fleece part number coolant CLNT BYPS Cummins 0305. This particular kit is for the automatic trucks and I'm going to explain just a little bit to you today why there's a difference in the kits before the coolant for the automatics versus the manual shift. The automatic Cummins engines have what is called a heat exchanger on it and we're going to talk really quickly about what the heat exchanger does. You are no longer going to be using your heat exchanger with this coolant bypass kit. So let me give you a let me give you a rundown of what the heat exchanger is. On the automatic trucks, the heat exchanger is a dual purpose unit. It does two different things. In extremely, extremely cold climates, it helps your transmission to warm up faster by giving coolant flow to the fluid, warming it up. It also in an extreme situation, it provides a secondary cooling option, uh, bringing the transmission fluid temperature to the engine operating temperature because of the exchange inside the heat exchanger. You will no longer be using the heat exchanger and that is okay. That's not going to hurt a thing. We are going to completely bypass that with this kit. Now, with this fleece coolant bypass kit, we're going to be installing it on an engine, obviously outside of a truck, but during the installation I'm going to be talking to you about some of the things that you're going to run to while you're inside of the truck and try to give it to you from both different scenarios both wide open viewing so you can see all the parts of it and how they come off and also how does it install inside the truck so let's get started with our installation before beginning the installation of your fleece coolant bypass kit you will you will need to drain all of the coolant from your radiator Let's talk first off about removing your heat exchanger because your first your st first step in the kit is to remove both of the coolant lines. The coolant line here that is attached to the block and then the coolant line that is going to go over that goes to the water pump. When this first coolant line is removed on the driver's side of the block, fleece includes the plug the o-ring plug that you will need to install in the block after the line is off. The line is going right here directly above the oil pressure sending unit. The o-ring plug will be installed there once that line is, re was, is removed. When that line is removed, Fleece also sends a since black plastic caps with these to cap this line off so remove the line from the heat exchanger itself install the black plastic cap. Your next line that goes to your water pump is going to be removed and it as well will get a black plastic cap on it. Now fleece includes in this kit a new coolant line diverter if you are still running a heater core in your truck and I want to talk to you just a minute about that. The heater core, the line coming from the heat exchanger is three way. It's coming from the heat exchanger out to the heater core is the second one and off to the water pump is your third one. Fleece takes this into account in their kit. So they send you this new coolant tube that is going to come with your kit. The new coolant tube will hook up at the exhaust manifold right where the old one came from using the manifold spacers which we are not using with this competition engine. It will run and hook up directly at the stock coolant line right here that will tie it right back in with the water pump. Uh, so you will have full flow to your heater core. This being a competition engine, we will not be using this tube. We will not be running a heater core. We asked Fleece to please send us the complete kit so we could explain to you how that coolant line goes. This is going to be blocked off on this engine. So we're simply taking all of this out and we are getting rid of all of it as a whole unit. The fleece coolant bypass delivers coolant directly from the radiator out of the thermostat housing back to the back cylinders of your engine. It in, fleece includes in their kit a plate that goes in place of the rear freeze plug on this motor and it will have coolant delivered directly to it. Inside of this is a 180 degree thermostat 
So you have equal thermostat temperatures at 180 degrees on both the front thermostat and the rear thermostat. So you've got uh, complete coolant flow to the back cylinders. Now, I talked to you about how I was gonna show you how this is done with the engine in the truck. The rear freeze plug does, can be removed with the engine in the truck and also the transmission in the truck. Now, if the engine's out of the truck, obviously it's gonna be a heck of a lot easier, but it can be done with the engine and the transmission in the truck and I'm gonna show you that today. So the first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do with the motor in the truck is you're gonna to wanna, to, obviously you're gonna to wanna to locate the freeze plug. Once the freeze plug has been located, you're going, to get, you're going to want to get anything that's going to be in your way of striking it with something to dislodge the freeze plug out of your way. There is a fuel return line here. Be, be aware of that and don't hit it with anything. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to use a long rod of some sort that's going to get you contact to the freeze plug itself and you should be able to strike whatever you choose to dislodge the freeze plug. So we're just gonna gently tap on this until we get the freeze plug dislodged. Come on around. We got it moving. it is now once you get it dislodged like this again line of sight from the outside of the truck or underneath of the truck get a rod to it and once you get the freeze plug dislodged like that then you can come back to the top of the motor just go ahead and wrap on it just a little bit more and get it turned around so once you get it dislodged you'll just have to Go ahead and bring it around to where you can get pliers to it. Once you've got it dislodged, just keep working with it until you get it out. Another good thing about the fleece cooling, cooling bypass kit is it takes away one of the most problematic freeze plugs in the entire block, um, which is the rear freeze plug on this. The rear, free, the rear freeze plug in high boost applications, you can have a lot of problems with the freeze plug blowing out. You've got coolant everywhere that messes up your whole day. So now we're gonna go ahead and put in the, um, the coolant bypass here, uh, the thermostat unit. So we just wanna lightly oil this uh, O-ring before installation. Now, before you install the rear thermostat on the truck, you're gonna wanna go ahead and assemble the line to it outside of the truck. You're not gonna wanna do this with the plate on the with the plate on the uh, rear of the engine because obviously it's gonna be much more difficult to get to. So a one inch, a and inch wrench if you have it. Go ahead and snug that down. Now, fleece inside of their kit sends you a Brillo pad Take the Scotch-Brite pad here, go around the inside of the freeze plug hole. Make sure that there is nothing inside of there that is going to compromise the O-ring of the rear freeze plug. Blow that out, which we've already done this step. Now, a little bit of oil around your O-ring before installation of the rear thermostat housing. And just go ahead and line the thermostat housing up. Once you have it lined up, you can kind of push it. The O-ring will seat 
and you'll have positive engagement right there. Then your two metric 12 bolts on the rear uh, with an 18 metric head on them. We'll go ahead and tighten those down. alternating sequence on this so you make sure that you get a good seal there we are and then we're going to just double check it fitting because I'm outside the block so I can cheat a little bit on it that one's good so now here is our coolant line and it is routed towards the front of the engine and towards our stock thermostat housing at the thermostat housing you will be retaining your stock thermostat so you will want to remove your stock thermostat housing three 10 metric bolts that hold it on that will expose the thermostat the thermostat is sealed itself so when you go to add the coolant the or the thermostat riser block you're going to want the part of the riser from fleece that is smooth non o-ringed it will go against the thermostat now before you install this make sure that you tighten you, that you tighten the coolant bypass line because you will not be able to get to it with a wrench outside of the you will not be able to get to it with a wrench outside of the the housing there so now we're going to move this over and set the riser block on top and then we will be putting our stock thermostat housing on with our stock thermostat housing on we're going to put our three fasteners that fleece sends with our kit which are longer than the stock ones so we will drop those down through the stock thermostat housing These are longer bolts so they will so that you can use the coolant riser. Ten metric and go ahead and tighten these down. tighten these in an alternating sequence don't over tighten them that has our coolant hose routed from our rear from our rear uh, thermostat correctly now if you have a hose that is kinked like this you will have to go to the front side or the back side one of the two you have to loosen it relieve the kink and then retighten in the truck that will be a much harder thing to do but you're just going to have to keep tweaking with it to keep from kinking the coolant line now again we are not going to be using our heater core return pipe so that is out of the loop here excuse me 
So this is the coolant bypass kit installed on the engine, save for the hold down lines, which we will get to right now. After you've got your bypass installed, Fleece sends you uh, nice coolant brackets to hold the line that holds the coolant hose down. It goes between the number two and three and four and five cylinder. We opted for an upgrade here, so we audibled on them. Fleece offers a aluminum block upgrade kit for this. We went this route for this motor because this is going to be our competition motor. And structural integrity probably, I mean obviously this is a lot uh, stronger than the other one, but the other one will do just fine for you. But we went with this for a little bit of a wow factor on the motor. So again, we're going to install this between the number two and three cylinder. Uh, there are pre-drilled and tapped holes in the head, you will see that these will go into. Go ahead and install your hardware here. Go ahead and push your line, the coolant line down there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and install the other bracket and we'll cut back in and show you what the finished product looks like. So this is our coolant bypass kit installed on our 05 engine. Uh, the Fleece coolant bypass kit is a very well made product. A little upgrade that we made here with the coolant line bracket was the only thing that we uh, added to this. This was a, uh, other than that the the uh, steel uh, clamps would have worked just fine with it. Uh, the install outside of the truck was very simple. Obviously, inside the truck, you're probably looking at a couple of hours to pull it off. This is getting your fresh coolant flow to the back of the engine uh, to save on those back cylinders. So, if you have a question on our fleece coolant bypass installation or any of our other fleece products, please give us a call. Thank you.